for Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Uriah Israel, and we just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your um, subscriptions. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. And as we continue um, on Psalm, uh, we've completed Psalm um, 1. But my brother, let me say this. The last uh, session was nothing but some serious troubles and, and stuff to, just to upload. Um, every, you know, we did, um, matter of fact, there are two times, two times I have to um, redo the, the session as far as taping it. Uh, the third time it takes almost two days. It was very late. It takes um, two days um, because I did I did the, um, the the session in time to 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 the end of the celebration of the um, of the feast of Tabernacle uh, the so-called. But let me say this, my brothers, it just would not load. You know, Hasatan probably was a part of it. <laughs> I could be um, some glitches in the in the in the camera, but it just would not upload. And then when I taped it and replayed it, I could hear going. Uh, 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 just like uh, my expression on my face. That is how the expression on my face was, and the um, and the, the the tape. Sometimes I run into that. But you know, not very, not very often. But it was really a heartache trying to get this session uploaded and and get it published. So we just want to continue, my brothers, and my sisters. Now we are going to start um, Psalm two. Now Psalm two in my Bible it, it it entitles you know the chosen one, and this is what I'm going to. Um, um, title that Psalm 2, the chosen one. Uh, sometimes, you know, you'll have other Bibles uh, that have different um, different uh, headings and, and different titles, but, you know, we know that Psalm 2 has to do with the, um, the reign of, of Yahuwah's anointed. Okay, and then at the end of the um, of the, the, the psalm, he talks about um, Yahuwah when he laughs. You know, he laughs. You know, when he laughs. You know, like ma many of the psalms, my brothers and my sisters have themes. You know, but Psalm two, you know, the final in the final verse. You know, we see where. Um, the, the the nation uh, the gentiles is 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 trying to to defy yahuwah well let me say this my brothers that um you know if if you try to defy yahuwah okay there are two things going to happen either you're going to lose or you're going to join in with him okay because trying to defy him doesn't work you either you, you you agree with him and be blessed or you can defy him and be cursed and it's just like that you know our, our Yahuwah is not going to stand for anyone you know um, challenging him like 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 that and and, and be, be successful it won't be it, it won't be a success, success, successful fight I tell you, because we cannot fight against Yahoo. Okay? So, listen what he's saying, Sam. I'm, I'm going to go um, like, the, okay, the, the, the rage, uh, the rage, of, I, I'm going to entitle the first three verses as the rage of the Gentiles. The rage of the Gentiles. And so, we're going to read the first three verses. He said, Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine 
a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cords from us. So, so here now in, in the verse, we're going to see that, that most times, like when I, when I was, was in, the ch in the church, right? This, this psalm, Psalm 2, used to be one of the, the favorite psalms, you know, that deals with the Messiah, you know. Um, and so they also call it the Messianic psalm, right? Now, I'm going to tell you this, my brothers. As we look at the psalm here, we're going to see how Yahuwah, you know, uh, set his anointed, his son, Yeshua, right? He's anointed. And he is in charge, okay? He is in charge. And so he sets him to be, he sets him to be the, the king, okay? And, and um, we're going to see, we're going to see there in, you know, how he empowered him, you know, Yahuwah, his son, Yeshua, Hamashiach. He empowered him and he, my brother, is the anointed one, promised one, right? That came the first time, right? He came, he was born and, and grew to be a man and he, he, he ministered on the earth for, for, for a number of years and then he suffered and then he died on the tree for us. Now, when he's coming back, he's not coming back to be born as a babe. He's coming back as the king of kings. Right? He's coming back as the king, as the king of kings. So, so we're going to look at verse 1, and we're going to see how there that you know, the nations are the Gentiles. Oh, they rebel against him. They rebel. And why do the heathen, the heathen rage? Is asking the question here. They start out. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. Remember, I, I, I told you from the outset that we are going to take the words. It's going to be slow. And sometimes, my brothers and my sisters, like I said in, in chapter 1, when I was dealing with chapter 1, or even from the, the outset of, of the um, introduction, right? When I was talking about the, 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 the Tehillim, right? The book of Psalms, the Sefer, right? Of Psalm. When we talk about going through a deep, systematic Bible study, I'm not just saying we're going to read the scripture and make a comment here and there. We're going to search the scripture. We're going to look at words. We're going to look at nouns and, you know, that are vital to the, to the passage. We're going to look at verbs that are vital to the, to the, to the um, passage or to the verse. And in this case, we're going to look in the Hebrew, now, remember that the Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, deals with um, pictograph, okay? And the Middle Paleo Hebrew, uh, you know, is, it mixed with, um, would say, the Hebrew words are sometimes words, are letters, the, the pictograph of the Aramaic. Are, are the um, Akkadian, uh, uh, sorry, the, 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 you know, the, the people that lived before the Babylonian captivity. And when the Babylonian captivity, the, the Hebrew 
Israelite people that went there, the, the, the tribes of Benjamin and and um, and, 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 and Yehuda and Judah, okay, and also some of the Levites people. When when they when they um they went there, then they, they adapted the Aramaic scripts. So the so so the Hebrew today, especially modern Hebrew today, is made up of the Aramaic scripts. Okay, so so when we look at it, then we we're looking at we're going to look at it from the Aramaic and the 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 um the Hebrew style. Okay, so please bear with me, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to look and research the words, and I'm going to tell you what the word is saying all right so the question here the first question is why do the heathen rage when we look at the word heathen here the heathen is goi goi that that you know the gentiles it's basically gentiles and, and uh, made up of um three uh, hebrew letters and they are um, gimel Bab and Yad. Okay? Sometimes we say Yod, but Yad. Alright? So, these letters, the, 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 this meaning, the meaning of this Goi, the, 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 you know, the, the Gentile people, Gentile nation, is a, is, is, is a foreign nation. Okay? So, it's not talking about the, 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 the nations that deals with the, um, with the Hebrew Israelite. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about the foreign nation, which would be the Gentile people, right? Um, they're Gentiles, they're heathen, they're, they're nations, they're a set of people, okay? So why do the heathen range? And the people, again, look at, look at the word, the people there, because people also is, 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 has to do with, with the Gentiles, uh, you know, the Gentiles, the heathen. It, it, it's a word, um, you know, means, it, it's the word in the Hebrew, is a leon, leon. Okay, so when we talk about the heathen, the foreign nation here, uh, you know, the, you know, and let me talk about the rage, the rage, the people rage. Why do the heathen rage? Look at the word rage. Look at the word rage. Because it is ragash, ragash in the Hebrew, made up of resh, gimel, and shin, and and what is saying is there um, to be turned. To be turned, okay. To be turned, okay. Uh, rage, they, they, they enrage, indignation. You know, um, they to defy, to abhor, to be angry. You know, when when a person is is in rage, you know, <laughs> he he. That's what he's talking about here. He, he is indignation and he have, he, he gonna let you have all of what he has stirred up on the inside, okay? Person coming, anyone, they're coming at you in a rage, you know, hot temper, that kind of thing, you know? Uh, you, you, some people, you cannot say anything. Even some of our Hebrew Israelite people, if you try to correct them, you know, they have a kind of a rage and don't come to me like that. Um, a few days ago, uh, uh, I bought some, something, some vegetable. And um, so the lady said to me, um, you're not gonna, you, you wanna see the scale? And uh, I said, no, I don't have to. What, you know, whatever you charge, whatever you say, I said, I said to her, I said, you know what, though? As Israelite, you're an Israelite sister, right? Yes, yes, I, I, indeed. And I said, well, you know, Israelites, we're supposed to be trustful. 
<laughs> I say we're supposed to be trustful. My time is gone, my brothers, for this session. But we, we're going to come back, okay? We're going to come back. And we're going to ask you to walk with the king and be a blessing today to someone. Shalom. <laughs>